Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here we have a great article from Fierce Wireless, which I will leave in the description down below so you guys could check it out. AT&T CFO says its fiber build is pricier than expected. Now, you might think, well, what does that mean, right? Are they saying they have to spend more? So if you guys have been following the videos, I have been saying in those AT&T videos that fiber is becoming a priority for AT&T. They want to cross the threshold of getting fiber to these households, right? They want to cross 30 million households covered with fiber by 2025. And there's really, if you look at the landscape, there's really no other company that's ever gone this aggressive on fiber to the home as AT&T, right? Google Fiber started, they kind of stopped. Cable's really not aggressively moving to that because it is very expensive, like ridiculously expensive, especially as you move to the more suburban and rural environments where you have to stretch that fiber out further, right? Where the houses are further apart than they would be in an urban setting, right? In an urban setting, you kind of have house after house after house. In the more suburbanish rural parts, oftentimes that's not the case. So that gets very expensive. So in that sense, what I'm thinking is, and of course there's nothing publicly stated because it's not broken down that way, but out of the capital that at t is investing on a yearly basis, right, the $24 billion, I am very confident, and again, there's nothing out there breaking it down, but I am very confident that at t spends more out of that CapEx on the fiber deployment versus wireless. I'm confident in that because fiber is so expensive and there is, you know, a certain amount of miles that every mile of fiber that you lay a fiber strand, it costs a certain amount of money. So that I am very confident in. And I know, I know there's no public breakdown. AT&T doesn't break it down. Verizon doesn't either. And neither does T-Mobile. But based on the fact that they're saying it's more expensive than they expected, that leads me to believe that they are spending more out of capital for fiber than they do on wireless. And it shows that, you know, fiber is the priority right now. It seems to be where they where they're driving new revenue. They want to cross that threshold of 30 million covered by the target. So that seems to be AT&T's priority. Wireless will always be there. That's the core business but it's not like they're going to all of a sudden shift and say, okay, we're going to spend way more on wireless versus fiber because the fact that fiber is so expensive and if you decrease CapEx on that, it's immediately going to, you're going to notice a slowdown immediately on fiber because it needs, and that's, that's one thing that uh, Pascal does state in this article, the, the good parts about this is that they were able to accelerate everything by spending more. And, that's, and that seems to be, where the priority is so let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for more like share subscribe follow my social media outlets this is tyrone with tech live see y'all in the next one peace